Welcome back to NRM 638, Python Scripting for ArcGIS Applications, Spring Semester 2015. This is an e-learning class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. This week we're going to work with a data access search cursor and data access update cursor. And you'll have two JS problems to choose from to solve using a search cursor. And one of the problems is we've got animal locations. And we'll use a search cursor to retrieve the point shape field. And then we'll have pairs of points. And then basically create a path line between these pairs of points. So we'll run our Python script and we create these path lines between these points basically by using a search cursor to retrieve the shape property from row one and then the shape property from row two and then creating a new polyline feature class to make these path lines. Okay, another search cursor application, we've got these points representing climate stations in Alaska. And if we look at the attribute table for these climate stations, we've got the monthly temperature for each climate station from January to December. So our Python script will use a search cursor, retrieve these field values, and then report for each climate station what the temperature is by season. So we run our Python script, and using the search cursor to retrieve those field values, our Python script computes the mean seasonal temperature for Bettles, Big Delta, Fairbanks, etc. for every climate station. Okay, a search cursor allows you to retrieve field values. An update cursor actually allows you to change field values. So here's one application you'll be working on in your assignment this week. We've got some streams, and here are two streams that are not flowing in the correct. So all these streams should be flowing from north to south. So our search cursor will look at every line in the line attribute table, and then if the line is not flowing in the correct direction, it will flip the lines automatically. So we run our search cursor Python script, and any line that was flowing upstream is flipped. So this line is now flowing correctly in the downstream direction. This line is now flowing correctly in the downstream direction. Date cursor application you may choose to solve this week is we've got these tables of the day, Julian day of last snow by elevation zone from 2000 to 2014. And if we look at these tables, we don't have a year field. So we want to merge these tables all together, but we would like to have a field called snow year and then the appropriate year for each table. So we run our Python script, and for each table from our 2000 table to our 2014 table, we now have a new field, snow year, and then the correct value for the year is automatically placed in these uh, new fields. So snow by elevation year 2000 gets assigned the year 2000, all the way up to the last table is for 2014, so that gets assigned a snow year of 2014. Okay, so if you go to the Blackboard website, I've got the first video session for you, and that will be on data access search cursor.